Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Wake Up Missoula. I'm your host, Scott Ramp, and I'm here to tell you about all the wonderful things that are happening this week here in Missoula and around the area with events, some news. I got a couple cool videos I'm going to show you on this uh, last Best Morning Show. So let's kick things off uh, with some <laughs> not-so-good news around Missoula. There's a flood warning happening today. There's a high of 60 degrees. There's a low of 38 degrees. Uh, Thursday's going to get even hotter uh, with uh, temperatures going to 69 to as high as 72 by Friday. Um, yeah, I mean, there's going to be that flood warning until 9.45 a.m. on Thursday. Most of this flood warning is uh, in, uh, congruent with the uh, sudden rise in the temperature and with all the snow runoff that's been coming through here. And if you haven't seen the Clark Fork River, it's really high. It's pretty ridiculously high. So if you guys get a chance uh, to check it out, just be aware that uh, there is a flood warning that is in effect. And I'll get more information about that. But I want to calm you guys down for a little bit and talk about some ospreys. So here is some video from the Cornell... Uh, lab, University of Montana Extension Hellgate Osprey Cam for today. So right now, I mean, if you if you haven't already noticed, um, Lori's keeping me a little more updated than I ever could, um, as uh, the osprey has laid eggs and is due to lay her third egg pretty soon. So she's just going to be nesting for a little while, and maybe in the next month or so, you'll be seeing some of those eggs hatch. But don't <laughs> take my word for it. I know nothing about the Osprey's anatomy or anything like that. Maybe I should have done more research. Oh, well. Um, but yeah, we'll c continue doing Bird Watch uh, 2018. Uh, for, more inf uh, for more information, you can actually log on to Cornell Lab Bird Cam Project. And this is a live streaming camera off of YouTube, as you can see. All right, now let's talk about more of the news, more of the flooding. A uh, flood warning actually is in place in all of Missoula County, and they ask that you not walk with it, um, in six inches of water uh, or drive in four inches of running water, which could sweep your vehicle along with two feet of stationary water. So if you see like a little dip in the road and you believe that there might be about two feet of water right there, don't drive in it because your car has a chance of being swept away. According to the Missoula National Weather Service, meteorologist Bob Nestor says that the river was expected to reach moderate flood stages by two Tuesday evening. Minor flood stages are 10 feet and we're currently at 10.6 feet. Um, the last time we've had flooding this high was in 2011 when it reached 12.72 feet. This weekend's uh, cold front dropped a lot of rain over western Montana and sent the Clark Fork into a minor flood stage by mid-morning Sunday. Uh, flood waters have risen in some of Missoula's lowest, lowest lying areas including the Orchard Homes neighborhood. Forecasters say temperatures are expected to warm in the 70s by the end of the work week followed by another round of cool and possible wet weather by this weekend. So we're in the perfect storm of flood weather, but of course we cannot have snow and stay in the mountains while we have spring rains. But the warmer temps and wet spring, uh, we can expect what's already happening to get worse. Um, well, not only is Missoula flooding, but other areas, of course, like the Milk River, extended in, in those areas, but Helena is dealing with flooding as well in the Helena Valley, but in recent weather caused 10 Mile Creek to spill over its banks starting on Sunday. Uh, the Lewis and Clark County Sheriff's Office has asked the public to stay away from the area of McHugh Drive near 10 Mile Creek. They ask that you not come out to look as it is causing unnecessary traffic situations and could result in vehicle accidents. And a Facebook post by the Lewis and Clark uh, County Sheriff's Office Facebook page says. Um, in national news, si switching gears from all this flood news to more of the uh, Robert Mueller investigation, uh, they have developed evidence that has not yet been made public about context between Donald Trump's campaign and the Russian government as attacked in the 2016 election based on questions published Monday by the New York Times. Prosecutors, prosecutors have connected former Trump campaign manager Manafort to at least one person who they say has ties to Russian intelligence services, but uh, Manafort has not been charged with conspiring with the Russian attacks. The attack, which was cyber related, mind you, says have influenced the 2016 election. Most of the questions that the Times printed focused on whether Trump may have obstructed justice or tried to uh, frustrate the FBI's Russian investigation, including whether he asked then-FBI Director James Comey to lay off the then-National Security Advisor Mike Flynn, whether he leaned on others to presume Comey, and why he fired Comey. 
The special counsel office has already concluded guilty pleas with a few people in Ru the Russian matter, in the Russian matter, including Flynn, that were based upon uh, acknowledgments about lying to the FBI. The door, however, na may not be completely shut as one of Trump's newest lawyers, former New York uh, City Mayor Rudy Giuliani, reported has met with Mueller to hasten the end of the special counsel investigation and kept alive the prospect of an interview with the president himself. So that's what's happening in the news. Um, I have a bunch of new programs for you guys, so I'm going to get right into that. And then when I come back, I'll talk about some things that are going to be happening for your community city council meetings because they didn't have a city council meeting uh, on Mondays this week. So I'm um, just going to talk about what we're going to be talking about, wh what they're going to be talking about today during city council on Channel 189. There's a lot going on in here right now, and I, I really appreciate the fact that you have some compliments, some green and red and some yellow and purple and which is causing our eyes to jump around a little bit but also uh, focus on the landscape so yeah um, that's i just think that's fantastic it's great. i'm not supposed to be saying that <laughs> but our audience will you know the an audience will, will say whatever they want. They'll have a judgment inside of themselves when they see what it is you're working on. And um, you kind of have to set that aside and go, well, I'm going to be, I'm just doing a drawing. Irish music for me. <laughs> this hat is too cool. tiny for me. So we're just waiting for uh, Joel to get here with his phone because he has Irish music already prepared on uh, it as well. So he thought we, it's over, oh, but we're doing some more oh, behind the scenes. Let's sing Danny Boy for a little bit. Dan oh, Danny. <laughs> oh, Danny Boy. <laughs> Danny oh, California. Oh, Danny Boy. Okay, cover. now I'm going to do like a, like, a, like a beat. Danny Boy. Oh, Danny Boy. When the Irish eyes. Smile. Scott, can, <laughs> should we just keep the mic on? Danny. Like, just entertain Boy. Oh, oh Danny. Hi, did, hi, did, hi, did, boy. It's my boy, Danny. <laughs> there. Back what with another. His name was video. Jack. Oh, is it what? <laughs> if you look, what he's wearing, it's a top hat. <laughs> it's not a top hat, it's a fedora. <laughs> it's quite not. But you can tell. Right. Mine's a clothes. But I'm short sighted. Jack's a good He's boy once you get past all that. Hi, did, I, did, I, did, I, did, I, did, I, did, I. All those wonderful programs are available at MCAT.org. MCAT.org, your local source for everything Missoula-related in a media sense. Um, MCAT.org, we got summer camps. Registration is open. All the, uh, most of the, all, basically all the camps are already halfway full. Um, that which means you guys have half left 
to sign up. So um, we have 12 spots available. So you guys can check it out by going to uh, clicking on this link directly right on here. You click on the picture or you can go to summer camp link right there and it'll bring you to a form to get you guys signed up. But of course, if you want to learn more information about my morning show, it's so wonderful. Uh, WakeUpMissoula.wixsite.com slash WakeUpMissoula. So nice you made your out twice and I am too cheap to pay for WakeUpMissoula.com. Um, so nobody out there steal WakeUpMissoula.com or I'll be very sad. But of course, you can always Google me. I'm on, I'm on uh, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter, all that and wonderful things. But I didn't uh, choose to use this ca camera, too, to talk to you guys about uh, city council. So let's talk about some city council. So um, there was no city council because uh, they don't do city council meetings on the 5th Monday of the month or on holidays. But they are going to have a bunch of community meetings today. And the first one is the Committee of the Whole, where they're talking about the downtown master plan implementation. The committee will provide an update on accomplishments in the last year and priorities and goals for the future with a specific emphasis on the plan update process. Speaking of um, update process, Land Lease and Planning is working with this new Title 20, which is the basically the backbone behind the uh, our Missoula um, grow inward policy. So the whole idea is that they want to make Missoula more of a metropolitan type area with the um, sudden increase of population. It's easier to have people closer together um, rather than having a large population spread out, which would, in a lot of people's minds in the city of Missoula, would uh, create uh, more of a pollution, car travel, congestion, parking issue. So a lot of times it's easier to have everybody closer together or at least have people near public transit so they can use that as well. But of course, it is included to mandate to maintain and update the ordinance on a regular basis. This process of regular review and updates allows staff to collect potential amendments and propose changes to an e an efficient way while also complying with the amendment procedures set forth on Chapter 20.85 of the Zoning Code. So it's constantly being updated. And let's say uh, you have a neighborhood and they're going to build townhouses there and you're just like, I don't want to see townhouses here. These are the kind of meetings that you need to go to for land use and planning. So that happens today at the uh, City Council Chambers. And along with that, Parks and Conservation, a uh, new pot of, plot of land, 175 acres in the uh, Missoula South Hills have been bought with the open space bond that with open space bond is a bond that passed in 2005 which has been used in the city of Missoula to buy open space to provide open space and to utilize open space for park space and more outdoor recreation activity and um, so basically uh, the conservation land program a program within the Missoula Parks and Recreation Department continued uh, to process towards goals outlined in the 2010 conservative land management plan presentation will provide a synopsis of annual management activities, highlight individual accomplishments, and give updates for citizen advisory committees. Uh, so that's kind of what they're going to be talking about with Parks and Conservation, and all these meetings are happening today, starting as early as uh, 10 a.m. and going uh, until about 2 p.m. today. Uh, it seems like online, if you go to ci.mozilla.mt.us, you can see this wonderful website where it tells you everything that you need to know about what's happening in the city. Once again, the website is ci for city dot Missoula, which is where we are, dot MT, which is Montana, dot US, which is, um, I forget. Um, so <laughs> I didn't forget. It's the United States. Anyways, um, that's basically what you need to know about some city council stuff as well. I'm going to have a bunch of events and more, but first I'm going to show you a brand new Dubbin stuff. Um, and then we'll come back with um, some events that are happening here in Missoula. So without further ado, here is the, the newest episode of Dub and Stuff. Do, 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 do. Soup, soup, the magical food. The more you eat, the more you poop. I was saying, I was, oh, no, thank you. Uh, all right, you guys want any soup? No. Yeah, soup. All right, send it back to the kitchen. <laughs> I'm grateful. Now we're sitting around this table all gathered around and such, but I want to know what are we going to have for dinner tonight? I vote for Gafilka fish. Yes, my dear. We're gonna. Well, have you want to know what my vote is? It's for chicken. Chicken again. Well, we can dress it up and have a nice salad from it. No, then it's still chicken. Well, I just want to decide quickly so we don't have to talk about this anymore. Chicken, it is. Well, be damned if we have chicken again. I vote for Gafilka fish. Roger, would you sit down already? No one's gonna vote for a good filka fish. Well, maybe we can pull our resource and do like a potluck. Potluck? I know how to make potato salad. I'll make potato salad too. We can't have more than one potato salad. I'll bring potato salad. I don't know much about making anything else. That's the problem with hosting a potluck. Everybody brings potato salad. Well, you can never have too much potato salad. I love potato salad. Well, that's all fine and dandy, dear. But who's actually going to eat it? Uh, that's that's why we should have just said it on a filka fish. Now see here, chaps. We're not going to have a potluck. We're never going to have a potluck, you hear that? 
And finally, we're not going to have a potluck because everyone's going to just bring potato salad and nobody likes potato salad. People will bring potato salad, but no one will actually eat potato salad. Do you hear me? No potato salad. Now I need a suggestion. Good suggestions. <clears throat> Excuse me, sir. Guy Fieri is doing a podcast on the radio pretty soon. Okay, put it on then. Let's go the play the sound. <laughs> I hope you guys are ready. <laughs> Flavor Town. <laughs> Are you guys listening? It's gonna be a great rock and rock and show. <laughs> One more trip to Flavor Town. Is he talking about potatoes? Quiet. Um. Oh my god. <laughs> Excuse me for a second. Oh I think we've had enough of that. Let's uh more talk about what we're having for dinner tonight. Here's some simple guidelines: no chicken and no potato salad. Well, then that leaves me the clear winner as the gefilka fish. We're gonna have gefilka fish if it's the last thing we do. You got that? We're gonna have gefilka fish again. It's gonna be delicious. Uh, well, fish isn't the worst idea. Well, maybe we can have like a fish salad or something. <clears throat> that would be a good idea. And it's healthy. It's good for us. What if you don't want fish? Then don't. Well, then how would you eat? Plain salad then. Huh, plain salad, huh? Yeah, the fish can be the meat option. If anybody wants it or not. Um, why didn't I come up with that? Poor Guy Fieri. Anyways, let's talk about some things that... <laughs> let's talk about events that are happening in and around the state of Missoula. Like always, uh, Missoula Indoor Sports Arena, Mismo Gymnastics, and Roots Acro Sports Center. Um, give your kids age walking to five years of age a little bit of physical fun with gym, some gymnastics and getting some introductions to like parkour. Parkour is a, a, f a fancy way of saying um, um, gymnastics for boys. Honestly, there's uh, there's always been like a gender thing between gymnastics. Just saying. Okay, Tiny Tales at Food Bank is starting at 10:30 a.m. So Tiny Tales is a great place to learn to read. Um, Tiny Tales is a branch of the Missoula Public Library, and they do it at Empower Place, which is at the Missoula Food Bank every Wednesday. Um, Birth Mama doula training, uh, Birth Mama uh, workshop venue. Uh, this is, they're talking about uh, the three-day doula training, small group. You can contact uh, ASAP if you want to. Um, and it's taught weekdays um, this and possible next week. And this is going to be at uh, the Birth Mama workshop venue. And you can learn more information by going to Missoula Events. It's fairly vague, so you can learn more about that as well. Of course, Spectrum is doing chemistry today. And also, they're doing a Legos in the afternoon thing for a bunch of kids. If you have a kid... Um, they usually do Spectrum starting at 11 a.m., and they do it Wednesdays through Saturdays. Um, Scrabble and Bridge at the Missoula Senior Center starting at 12.30. If you are uh, somebody who likes Scrabble or Bridge, or both, you can do both on those days. And, of course, they have this uh, they they have the best dance floor in the city of Missoula. Missoula uh, Middle School Writers Group happens this afternoon at 3.30 p.m., I'm just kind of skimming by the basic uh, events because these events always happen every week. Um, there's going to be a lot of nightly events happening the next two nights with workshops and learning things. So I'm going to kind of go fast over some of these things. So I'm going to get back. So Middle School Writers Group is the Missoula Public Library. Improve some of your writing skills for kids who are in middle school who need that leg up in improving their writing or who just love writing. Uh, unplug and Play Week. That's one of the weeks that are happening this week. So you got to unplug and play. So that's part of it is uh, to uh, at the Peak Health and Wellness Center is doing Unplug and Pay Week, and they're offering free junior ULA dance classes from 4 to 5 p.m. Um, at the Racket Ball Club. Unplug and Play uh, Tinker Garden class. Tinker Garden is hosted by a free class, and it happens from 4.30 to 5.45 for ages 18 months to 8 years old, and you can come explore, problem solve, and create and connect through play. And this is going to be at Lions Park. Uh, but of course, beginning acro yoga, they can send lifelong learners. And it's like yoga, but it's more like a circus. So basically, acro yoga was founded in 2003 by a circus performer and a yoga instructor. It's an effective form of cross training for any discipline. This class combines dance, yoga, and partner work into a dynamic sequence of movements with a focus of safety on uh, proper body alignment. You will gain strength, flexibility, and trust. No experience necessary. Wear clothes that allows your body to move freely. And this is going to be happening at the Dickinson Lifelong Learning Center starting at 6 p.m. Also starting at 6 p.m., pottery fun for everybody. Um, Frenchtown High School hosts this course where students can develop their skills and confidence 
for working with clay by exploring different methods of pottery. The instructor will discuss basic clay management, including what kinds of clay to use, how to use tools, and what they are used for, um, hand building techniques, the art of throwing on a wheel, and how to develop and finish surfaces. But of course, if you're not interested in getting your hands dirty, 3D printing 101 workshop at the Missoula Public Library starts tonight at 6.30 p.m. Um, they usually do this most Wednesdays, every like uh, first and third Wednesday of the month, um, usually the author Wednesdays of the month, and this is usually geared towards people who want to learn about 3D printing in the makerspace of the Missoula Public Library. Disney's The Little Mermaid, it's the second week, but they're going to be going on for three weeks. I'm going to have a, um, Joe Martinez, the director, on this Friday to talk a little bit more about The Little Mermaid, about some of the cast and crew, about some of the things they had to do to basically turn their stage into an underwater paradise. So that's happening tonight at 7.30 p.m., pretty much going on every single night, 7.30 p.m., all through Sunday, with the uh, exception of an earlier night showing at 6.30 p.m., and of course they have the 2 p.m. matinees on Saturday and Sunday. They usually take it to run between 12 and uh, $15. There's some might be $20 to $25. Um, there might be some uh, fees for, uh, there might be uh, reductions for people who are members and so on and so forth. Of course, that kind of concludes everything that's happening there. If you guys are interested in some late night events, Trivial Beer Suit is happening at the Press Box. You got uh, Trivia Night at the Silver Slipper starting at 7.30. You got uh, Brains on Broadway at 7.30, Broadway Bar and Grill. You got Rock and Karaoke at um, Dark Horse, and you got Craft House at Karaoke at the Bandlander. But that's pretty much all those events. I got a brand new art clip for you guys. This is provided by our very own Rick Phillips, and it is at the Gallery of the Visual Arts. So, and um, this gallery will end May 10th, so you don't have much time to check this out. You have this week and next week, but I'll be showing it um, every single uh, show that I have on Wednesdays and Fridays. So when I come back, I'll talk about your Thursday events. All right, thanks to Rick Phillips for providing that awesome, um, yet calming art clip from the Gallery of the Visual Arts, which is located at the University of Montana in the Social Science Building. If you look at the main hall, take a left, follow that pathway, all the way to when you stopped in front of a building, that's the Social Science Building. It's a nice little humble old building. You go right through the doors of the Social Science Building, you take your uh, first left, and there's the Gallery of the Visual Arts. So check that out and more. Uh, through the, uh, and uh, I don't know what I was trying to think. I'm trying to think too much. But of course, most of the art is from the uh, Bachelor of Fine Arts graduates at the University of Montana, so you can check that out. But of course, um, if you haven't already seen my uh, short uh, f uh, five, six minute piece about the art installation project, City of Missoula, um, City Hall has a bunch of new art from the uh, people, from the kids, uh, from the college kids, uh, artists uh, from the BFA program. So you can check that out. Uh, family Fun Time starts Thursday at 9.30 and goes to about 12. It's for uh, p families to get um, um, go on down there with their kids and learn some activities. They have a swimming pool, basketball court, tracks, um, mountain climbing, weight room, game room, and all sorts of um, – and that's just some of the things I can think of off the top of my head. But they have a lot more than that at the YMCA starting at 9.30 tomorrow morning. Assist, uh, assistive – Assistive, I'm um, sorry, that's, I guess that's the right word, assistive 
technology with Montech. Mizzou Public Library, join us for a demonstration of various types of assistive technology on the market. Demonstration will include a broad spectrum of technology information on other resources offered locally through Montech. Registration re required by calling 721-BOOK, otherwise known as 721-2665. And that's at the uh, Mizzou Public Library starting at 12, and it goes until about 1. So it's a nice little a uh, short hour class, and it's going to be happening there. So container gardening, uh, the village uh, senior residence at 2815 Old Fork Road, Missoula, Montana. The local author and master gardener, Molly Hackett, will uh, demonstrate planting containers, We and they will raffle off the containers as, the well, as well. So the whole idea is that they will show you how to make these uh, – planting containers while at the same time auction them, uh, them off as well. And it starts at 2 p.m. tomorrow afternoon. Lego Club, Missoula Public Library, every Thursday afternoon after school. Um, join us uh, for Lego Club. Lego Diplo pieces provided. The only thing that you need is imagination. Children under, children under 12 must be accompanied by an adult. Ceramics for ages 5 to 12. Clay Studio of Missoula is hosting a clay uh, sessions. Um, so this is, uh, they have six sessions happening from now until June 7th from 3.30 to 5.30. Uh, six sessions, $120, $10 discounts for members. And the instructor is Marley's Brochures. Uh, this class is great for siblings, except a little bit of everything. Um, Expect, so except, no, expect a little bit of everything. Sculptures, pottery, and a lots of fun building with clay. You can call them at 543-0509 to register, or you can go online to register now. So the number again is 543-0509, and that's at the Clay Studio of Missoula, and this is a class for kids age 5 to 12. Missoula Gives is kicking off tomorrow at Plonk, but uh, you can also, it's through Missoula Gives, so if you go to MissoulaGives.org, you can donate to your favorite organizations. Their goal this year is to get uh, $375,000 from over 3,000 organizations, for 3,000 organizations in the city of Missoula, and it's from, through the Missoula Community Foundation, and that's going to be happening Thursday, Friday, about 5 p.m. to 5 p.m. on Friday, so you can check that out by going to MissoulaGives.org. Unplug and Play Week, uh, Screenagers at Hellgate High School. Um, this is basically an event that happened from, that's happening this week from April 25th to May 5th, so that's Sunday through this Saturday. Let's Move Missoula is encouraging Missoula families to unplug and play for one week. This is a challenge for families to limit recreational set screens, TV, game box, smartphones, tablets, etc., so they can all spend time outdoors and reconnect with their friends, families, and their neighbors. And that's happening at 7 p.m. They're doing a Screenagers. They're all official BB showing a movie maybe on a screen um, for uh, some about Unplug and Play Week. So that's going to happen at Hellgate High School starting at 7 p.m. along with their 10-minute plays. So if you get a chance to go to the auditorium and watch some of their 10-minute plays, I saw them last night for the first session. It was great. Tonight is another session of their 10-minute plays based on their period four class from Hellgate High School. It was great. They did a lot of good stuff, a lot of great actors, and it's 10-minute plays, so you get a little nice little snippet of just wonderful uh, plays. Um, and if you didn't like one, there's plenty of other ones that you can like along the way as well. So Historic Preservation Awards ce celebration is going to happen in the public house. Jesse Rogers came on to Missoula Live this week. She talked a little bit about this along with the uh, Missoula Gives um, program as well. But... Let us celebrate new waves in old ways. Uh, uh, announcing the 2018 Historic Preservation Awards, this City of Missoula Historic Preservation Commission is proudly recognizing individuals, projects, and organizations who have restored, rehabbed, or constructed new and historic compatible additions and who have worked to enhance the character of Missoula's Missoula's built environment. And this is going to be happening at the Public House at 7 p.m. But of course, um, if you want to um, do that and more, um, you can go to MissoulaEvents.net. MissoulaEvents.net is your local resources for everything Missoula about what's happening in Missoula. Hey, what's happening in Missoula? This is what's happening in Missoula. Just go to this website. And it's nice little... Um, it's a nice website to find more information about that. But of course, um, here are some of your um, nightly events that are happening. Um, starting tonight, at the, uh, starting tomorrow night at the Union Club, every first Thursday of the month, they do a comedy night. So it's open mic comedy for any um, upstanding person who thinks they're funny or other th people think they're funny. And they just say, hey, you should go do a, a stand-up comedian routine. And it's like, cool. And it's only about like two and a half to four minutes, depending upon how long it is. Maybe tell, c crack a couple jokes and just move on with your life. Um, you know, just want to see if you're funny or not. So 
And that's happening at Union Club. Sign-ups are at 9 p.m. And the show starts at 9.30 p.m. And it's a nice little open mic. But, of course, if you want to do an open mic, they have the Green alterna Alternative Dispensary. It is they're doing some rock and folk music there. Um, also, you have Narconics Anonymous Meeting ooh, at the University of Montana. Um, dance New Works at the University of Montana. It's a dance uh, performance. D um, sent, of course, uh, Cinema Abroad Old Boy is going to be playing at the Roxy. Brazil Open Decks uh, DJ Party is going to be at VFW. You got John uh, Craigie at, at the Top Hat. Rocking Karaoke by Aaron B. Rocks at the Dark Horse. Of course, um, yeah. And that's basically kind of concludes what's happening for your Thursday. Um, yeah, I'm pretty much wrapped up for the show. I mean, like, I'm, it's going to be a fairly short show. I didn't have any city council to kind of lean on for a lot of my bulk of uh, the meat of uh, Wake Up Missoula. But I do have... Um, couple things I just want to say and remind people at home to do is that we need people to take a survey for MCAT. So MCAT is hosting a survey. Um, we need people to take a survey. Uh, it's not just about MCAT. It's about what MCAT can do for the community and what you think about charter communication. So let's say you're a charter um, subscribed member and you have cable, which means you have this channel you're watching now, either at 9 a.m. live or you're watching this this afternoon. You go to MCAT.org. You see this little link right here, you can click on it, or you can click on take the survey at MCAT.org. And you read this, and this basically explains why we want you to take a survey. Are you willing to take a few minutes to share uh, the future, how we communicate with each other in the next 10 to 15 years? Play today's take the online survey and share your experience with charter cable services in Missoula and the public education and government channels, programming, and services managed by Missoula Community Access Television, otherwise known as Missoula's Community Media Resource. And you click on Take Me to the Survey, and this survey is powered by the City of Missoula, so part of the City of Missoula and Missoula's Community Media Resource. Um, this will basically explain everything that you need to know about the survey and why it's important to have this survey, because it's nice to have a lot of people. We need the community back in Missoula Community Access Television to help us um, move forward with our f uh, getting money from Charter Cable. So basically, the whole idea is that MCAT gets money through fran franchise fees, which is the people. So a percentage of the percentage, mind you, of uh, the gross income from Charter Cable, basically the money that you pay for for cable, Charter Cable subscriptions goes back to you through MCAT. So we provide programs in the city of Missoula from um, lecture series at the University of Montana, performances, all nonprofits, everything, all civic groups. Anybody who basically asks uh, to have MCAT shoot and produce a video from Missoula, for Missoula, that's what MCAT's for. So we need your help, and that's how you can help by going to MCAT.org to, again, take the survey. All right, guys, and I think that's pretty much uh, it. That it's all everything that I need to talk about for uh, the last best morning show, Wake Up Missoula, and for Wake Up Missoula and all of us here in the, the Missoula Community Access Television family. Uh, thank you for joining me, <laughs> and have a wonderful week. I'll be back Friday to talk about all your city council and flagship Friday. It's the last week for flagship, so it's going to be a very special flagship Friday this week. Flagship Friday video of the week this Friday. So stay with me. I have a guest.